Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a contact form in WordPress. After creating it, we are going to link it and put it on on our footer. The contact form that we want to create, it's for a subscription form. To you to achieve this, we need a plugin called Contact 7. I have already got Contact 7, but if you do not have it, if you have been following my uh, my courses from the beginning, you will already have this in place. But if you don't, you, what you need to do to be able to get this, you have to come add a new, then search for the word contact seven. I already have it, so it's it won't. But normally, if you don't have it, you will have an installation bar, and then you will have, that will change to activate. And when you activate it, it will start appearing below the comment. Okay. Now in here, in contact forms, we're going to create a new contact form. Okay. In this new contact form, we need to remember what we want to do at first. We want a subscription form. So that means that we need to first write the name here, subscribe form. Subscribe, maybe in lowercase form. Yeah. So subscribe form. And in here, this is a generated template provided by contact form seven, which I don't want to use at the moment. In here, you might require a little bit of HTML if you want to add some special things on it, but you do not, you are not required to do this. Okay. So there are, I'm going to show you two ways on adding one. I'm going to show you how to put it on hard copy. The second one, I'm going to show you how to put it on using these tabs okay but either way i want to use a div tag a div tag is like a like a container which stores the html elements and tags that you use so i'm going to say i want a div tag and i'm going to close my div tag now that you've got this now in in there i want a class as well in my div tag a class is a css that design the feel the the look of an element that you have nested in this in the, the div tag so in the simplest form the class is a style that you are imp that you are implementing into the div tag so if i put a class um colon 20 that means that i'm telling it i want you to give me a colon of 10 or colon of 20. to do a class you need to write the word class and then the question uh, the equals to and then open this okay in here now i have already created a class if you follow this course from the beginning you know that i have pro i've created a theme and in that theme i've created some classes which are already in the theme so the, the class that we're going to use is called bt footer subscribe subscribe now BT footer subscribe, just so I make sure that I have the correct spelling. Now that I've got this, now I'm going to show you the first way of adding the actual forms. Okay. First, I can say the hard copy one. I'll say it's an email. I want it to be required. So it's a must that you have to put the email. So which is the star. And then I want the name, which is the placeholder. So the placeholder will be your email and I want what people are going to see the message that they're going to see before they write the email. So it will be email. Okay. Or your email. Okay. So now that we have this, so this is done. We now enter and we can say, I want the star as well. So, sorry, we open that as well. We, we write the word submit. And then we want a placeholder, which means that what people are going to see on the bottom. On the bottom, so it's going to be submit or maybe let's say subscribe. Make it a bit more fun. Subscribe. Okay. So now we have this. Our button is created. I'm going to save this. Okay. So this is one way. Now, the sec so remember this way. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to put it here. The second way of doing this is I'm actually the easiest way. I'm going to click on email. Okay. I'm just going to now say 
it uh, it is an e it is required it is an email and I wanted to say your email okay your email and I want there to be a placeholder and I want the placeholder to say to say email okay see all done now I'll just say add exactly what we did obviously I need to add that word as well I forgot to add that word but if I add that here it is exactly what we did okay now press enter and I can come here submit same thing I can say the label will be submit sub actually it was subscribe not submit subscribe okay and that's it exactly the same so these are the two ways on adding it so if you don't know how to do the code in hard copy you have these to help you out if you need to read more about this you can go to their website they have faq button and they've got a documentation section as well the faq looks like this so you can read the faqs and their documentation look like this so you can search for and many things and this is really really helpful if you want to know so now that we've created this now we need to save we need to copy the shortcut but before and now that we've copied the shortcut we're going to just going to hang fire for a second and still stay here we're going to configure our emails in general a um, contact form 7 gives you a normal static template so it's gonna just copy whatever the settings are and the settings have my email address is given that but we don't have a subject so we're just gonna say squadron subscription squadron new subscription okay maybe and then we don't need this okay we don't need all of this so we're gonna write a message for the administrator who is gonna be receiving this email so we say dear admin I would like to inform you that you have got a new subscription subscription full stop the details are as follows and then you go and copy the email and paste it here now that you paste that here you don't really need this because we don't have a body so we just take that and say regards from your website squadron okay now that we have this that's done we come here we want to change the message as well we'll the message will say thank you for subscribing and then yeah thank you for subscribing we will get in touch shortly now that we have done all this we just copy uh, save sorry and then we'll copy just if you haven't copied it before just press copy it again and now go to whichever page so if you have been following this course then do what I'm doing if you're not you can just copy the paste and paste it to wherever you want to paste it in as a text file this is how you do it so I'll go to my footer page in our footer page we want to update this contact form here it's a text file I'll click on the pencil I'll remove this I'll paste the new shortcut and I'll press submit and I'll update it now this should show on our footer section so if i come back down here we should see it here subscribe and if you noticed this button is a css and the css it's coming from bt footer sub -sub subscribe class that i told you about before so this is how to create the contact form 7. now in here i can do with a test to test it if everything is working but because we are using ZAMP on our local, this is not going to work. But if you're using a web server, it might be worth testing it to make sure everything is working. If it's not, you will probably look into your SMTP settings, which we will look into in the next videos. In the next video, we are going to now go in deep and create the rest of the pages. On this next video, before we create any page, I'm going to give you an assignment on how on on some tasks that I want you to do before we start. I'll speak to see you in the next video.